But um, so next up, we're going to do some uh, triceps. Um, the reason we do that on a chest day, so after chest, is um, your triceps are sort of a secondary muscle when doing your compound chest exercises. So they're going to have a little bit of blood flow in them already. So it's not going to be hard to really work them and, and get a good, good arm tricep pump. Um, so first up, we can start with the tricep push down. So the next exercise we're going to do is a tricep push down. Um, as Kurt explained before, the reason we're doing triceps now is because we've done all our, we've done, already done our chest work, and that's already partly for the our triceps. So now we're just going to finish them off with a couple of quick exercises, just give them a good puzzle, and just finish them off before you, before you get out of here on a Monday. Now, you guys going to demonstrate for us. Key things to note with the tricep push down. It's really important you keep your elbows going to your right side. They really shouldn't move throughout the moment next most important thing, you really got to lock out. If you don't lock out, you're not know, activating your triceps. So really important that you lock out the bottom of your tricep push downs. And just take one of that he's, that he's uh, bringing it all the way up and get it straight and squeeze down the bottom. And you really those triceps. Okay. Really not a complicated move, but you'll see a lot of people that did not do it correctly. And that's how it's done. Triceps are really important in terms of, in terms of um, if you want big arms, you really got to focus on triceps. They make up about two thirds, two thirds of your upper arm mass. So you really got to give them uh, priority and you've got to do plenty of volume um, compared to your biceps um, if, you, if you want big arms in general. Um, so we're going to start off with, with a fantastic move for putting mass on our triceps. It works the, the major heads of your tricep and it really brings out the, um, what, what, uh, what Kurt will demonstrate as a, a sort of a horseshoe the horseshoe muscle in the tricep and um, Kurt's going to demonstrate for us and you see what I'm talking about now. When it comes to this movement called the skull crush, you've got to be quite careful that's the weight you can handle it's really important if, you, and, um, if possible if you have a training partner to make sure that you, you can handle the weight to spot you. Um, but know how he's keeping his elbows, elbows steady in the same area. He's bringing the weight down to his forehead pushing through his triceps and it's really bringing, bringing that mass out and bringing those cuts out of his triceps. Fundamental move for putting, for putting mass on the triceps. Uh, so next up I'm going to demonstrate some, some rope push downs. Once again just another variation of the straight bar push downs. Um, only difference here You'll see his, his hands sort of flare at the bottom. Just once again, just a better range of motion. Um, a lot of people try and exaggerate the flare, but it should come naturally if you just try and lock your elbows out. And you'll just see the, um, the squeeze he gets at the bottom when he flares it. Um, once again, elbows still don't want to be moving those elbows much. And really focus on locking it out at the bottom because that's when you're going to um, activate all parts of your tricep. So next up, um, Matt's going to demonstrate some overhead rope extensions. Um, very similar to just the, the standard push down rope extensions. And a lot of the time we, we won't even superset the two. Um, another one of those exercises, it's pretty hard to get the technique right. But once you do, we'll really start to feel your triceps burning. So um, you can see Matt's taking one step forward, just working on stability. And um, keeping his back nice and straight, his chest sort of pushed down. And uh, once again, very important to keep those elbows still really try and lock it out at the bottom. And um, put his using the ropes, when he locks it out, you see the flare at the end, and um, it's really getting a good range of motion that way. Okay, so next up we're doing um, a seated um, seated dip. Um, the reason I like this machine is, like your, your usual dip, but you can put heaps of load on, because you'll find a lot of guys go to do body weight dips and they'll get 20, 30 reps. So um, it'll really be good to add some, some weight on, so you can stick to that 8 to 12 rep range. So um, once again, make sure you're locked in nice and tight, so you're purely just pushing with your triceps. As you can see again, locking it out on the bottom is really when you're going to activate the majority of your, your tricep. Um, a lot of people might do a little bit of a chest workout with this too, and, and lean a little bit, little bit further over, as Matt can demonstrate. And, um, you really feel the bottom of your pecs burning if you do it that way. Still using your triceps, but you can also work your chest as well. But uh, generally speaking, we would do this for triceps. 
um, you can really feel, get a good pump from it.